everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're all well, I hope you're all staying safe and just keeping sane out there as we enter our, what, fourth week now of lockdown and now a further three weeks. Um, so today is Friday the 17th of April and my little boy's birthday is on Wednesday the 22nd. So I've got a little bit of prep to do for his birthday that I want to get done today. Um, just because, I, like I've been saying in my previous vlogs and videos and things, I try at the weekends to just have that time where I can spend time with George. Um, and then any sort of chores and work I need to get done, I like to get done throughout the week. So I'm going to try and get as much done of that as I can today. Um, so then my weekends can be, because it's meant to be quite a nice weekend I think. My weekends can be spent outside with George or inside whether depending on what the weather's doing um i we've all had breakfast we got up quite early this morning because we've got a little bit to do today um so yes like i say all had breakfast i've then jumped in the shower i have a blow dried my hair i haven't straightened it or curled it or done anything to it um but it's not looking too bad today it looks a bit puffy um but i am just putting on some makeup now if you've watched my vlogs before then you'll know that i have been trying to have a makeup free lockdown period i guess um but i'm feeling really i don't know if self-conscious is the word but i am got some really serious hormonal spots on my face um, and because george hasn't been sleeping very well as normal i've got really bad um dark under eye circles and bags and i'm just feeling a little bit self-conscious about the way my face looks and i know that sounds so shallow because there are people out there that are literally <laughs> dying from this awful illness um but I just feel like I wanted to be a bit more like myself, so I'm putting on some makeup, just trying to cover up all these hormonal spots, and yeah, I'm then going to go downstairs and start my day and spend time with George, and um, I've got a few deliveries coming today, everyone has been sending their birthday presents for George to the house, um, because obviously no one can come round, so I've got a few parcels I've been told are coming today, I've also got a few parcels for myself arriving today, um, so yeah, I've got to, I was going to say I've got to wait in for the parcels, but I'm not going anywhere, so I'm going to be in all day. Um, so I'm just going to finish doing my makeup and then I'm going to go downstairs and then I think we're going to make the most of this beautiful weather and just go and spend an hour or so out in the garden. Um, and yeah, that's it really. I haven't got too much planned. Um, apart from obviously planning George's birthday and I also want to get a video filmed as well. So it's a little bit later and we are just about to head outside and play with a toy that George has just been given. So his nan, um, so my partner's mum, she has bought him a little tykes um, pirate ship for his birthday um, and it arrived early. So she has said that he can have it now um, because there's not really much for him to do. Um, um, so we put that out in the garden, I've built it all this morning and then I just need to fill it up with some water um, and then he can play it because it's a, like a water sort of toy feature so he can go out and play with that um, and the weather's really nice at the moment however it is meant to be um, like a bit cloudy and a bit cold this afternoon so um, I think we should play with this for a little bit this morning so it doesn't get too cold with the water and then we can come inside and play in this evening. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out well, We've come inside because it has started getting quite cloudy and cold outside and we've made George some lunch, he has got some cheese toasties and he's watching a little bit of pepper at the same time up here whilst I sit and eat my lunch as well um, and then I think he's going to go down for a nap afterwards. So I have just put George down for his nap, we just both um, had some lunch, we had cheese toasties and some breadsticks and some fruit and things, so now I thought I would take this opportunity whilst he is sleeping to start wrapping up some of his presents um, so I've got all his presents here I've got the wrapping paper and I thought 
all the presents just fell over. And I thought whilst I am wrapping, I can maybe talk to you a little bit about his birthday and what sort of our plans are around having a birthday and self-isolation and things. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm gonna do whilst he is napping. I found this really cool um, Paw Patrol wrapping paper in Smith's, I think it was. Um, and I bought this, maybe the similar time I bought in the slide that was meant to be for his birthday, which is now outside. Um, so I think it was like, I don't know, like two months ago maybe, um, and I just had it sat in the wardrobe, and it's like four metres, so it's quite a decent amount of time, it was something like two pounds, um, and then I'll also quickly show you his birthday card, and um, so I also got him a Paw Patrol birthday card as well, that's just got two on it, and I picked that up from Smith's as well, um, and he really does quite like Paw Patrol, it's one of his favourite um, TV shows, and he loves all the characters and things, um, so I'm going to put all the presents, I'm not going to go through what I've got, because I've already done a video on that, so if you haven't seen that, I'll put it up here somewhere, and I will link it down below, so you can go and check that video out if you want to see what I got for his birthday, um, but we will be, or I'm going to be vlogging, his birthday which will go up on the Sunday next week. Does anyone else really struggle to find the end of tape and then when you find it actually being able to get the tape off. There we go. So, so yes like I said I'll be posting that vlog on the Sunday after his birthday because that's the day that vlogs go up on my channel. Um, but for actually what we're going to be doing on his actual birthday we originally had planned to have all the family over and we was going to have either like a barbecue or like a tea party or something um out in our garden because last year we did have all the family rounds um, and we had some really good food and we had the big gazebos up and i'm really bad at wrapping presents let's go this way so yes that was going to be the plan but obviously that plan went out the window um, when a certain virus came along and ruined everybody's plans. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to have a sort of little tea party for him here at home. Hopefully the weather's going to be nice so we can maybe have a nice like tea party sort of lunch out in the garden. Um, it does say it's meant to be sunny, so fingers crossed the weather will be nice and we can actually make the most of the nice weather and sit outside. Um, and then we will probably then have something for dinner that I know that he's going to like, something as a treat. Um, we probably would have, um, yeah, we would have we, we would have got something in for him anyway if, if this wasn't the case. Um, but we will just try and make it as special for him as possible. Um, so I think on his birthday, one of his favourite breakfasts that we don't do that often, it's like a real treat thing, it's normally on like a birthday kind of thing, is we will do pancakes for breakfast. Um, so we will probably do some pancakes for breakfast with chocolate and some strawberries and things. Um, and then just basically spend the day with him, playing with all his new toys just to try and make it as normal and as happy as possible really. As I've mentioned previously, some people have delivered George's birthday presents to our house so then he can actually have them. Um, so what I've actually done or what I'm gonna do, I've already done it to one, but I'm going to wrap the presents up from other people. I've got loads of other wrapping paper in the cupboard so I think I'm gonna wrap George's presents from other people up in different wrapping paper and then just put all his presents together in the morning so then he can wrap, unwrap everything and then I think what I'm going to do then is I'm going to FaceTime the people um I'm, yeah I'm going to FaceTime the people that have bought him the presents like one by one if that makes sense just so then they can see his reaction um, and he can say thank you for them because obviously they're not going to be here to do it with him so I'm really grateful for the people like everyone that sent a present that's just so kind of them. Um, so then I think what the plan is, sorry that's quite loud, once then this um, virus thing is all over I think what we're going to do is we're going to probably hold um, a party still for him and then also for all the other people that have missed out on birthdays and I think we're just going to do like one big gathering here in the garden um, with loads of food and just get everyone together, so all of my partner's family and my family as well, um, because there have been quite a few of us, including myself, that's had birthdays within this. So it would have been myself, um, my cousin James, it would have been obviously George, my granddad, um, my partner's little sister, 
So there are quite a few people that have had, obviously George, that have had birthdays during this sort of crisis and we just haven't been able to celebrate the way that we would have normally. So I think if we just do sort of one big gathering in the garden and it'll probably be more, we will probably make it about George and I think we're still going to hold a dinosaur themed party for him because that was the original plan because he has suddenly got this massive interest in dinosaurs. So we was going to hold a really big like dinosaur themed party party for him and have that out in the garden with like dinosaur balloons and a cake and things and my Pinterest board was looking pretty good with all the dinosaur party ideas um so yeah we'll just have to play it by ear see how long this all goes on for um yeah and just take it one day at a time but I'm really looking forward to his birthday I just can't believe my baby is going to be two that is just insane um, so I'm going to finish wrapping up all these presents and then hopefully George will wake up and I'm actually trying to film a really special video to go up on Tuesday. Um, so I think I need to spend a bit of time this afternoon trying to figure out how I'm going to do that video. Um, and yeah, that's that's it for now. And then hopefully I have got a package coming this afternoon which is going to be the the foam flooring that I've spoken about in my vlogs for the conservatory. So fingers crossed that's going to arrive today and then I can get that put down and then I can show you what the finished conservatory will look like. So as you can probably tell, I have changed my outfit and George has just woken up from his nap and I'm about to change his outfit too because we are going to be attempting to film my special video for Tuesday. Um, so I'm going to get George dressed up in something nice. I'm just going to pop him in um, this shirt, which I really like on him. I think he looks really smart in it. Oh, I've currently got you balanced on one of George's toys. Um, but obviously because the camera was on there, he obviously wanted to play for, with it. Ready you have to get this, uh, push, push, push. So we have just come in from filming the secret, no not the secret, just something that's quite special to me and I feel like I've quite put quite a bit of work into and it's only a really short clip but um, it just means a lot to me, it's quite sentimental to me. So we've just been outside filming that and it's so windy outside, quite a lot of blossoms already falling off the tree because of how windy it is um, and we played with George's toys for a little bit but now we have come in because it is getting really cold and really windy. Um, so I think we might sit on the sofa together and watch a film um, and maybe get some snacks as well because I think we're both a little bit hungry after all that running around. So we have shut the curtains, so it's just like a bit dark in here so we can see the TV screen a little better because although it's a really dark day, um, the clouds are out. We've both got some snacks, so I have got myself some chocolate bourbons which are in fact, in fact one of my favourite biscuits and where are you going? George has got some pom bears, although there is actually a packet of Doritos over there on the sofa, um, which he's just got his eye on, but he won't like them because they're the spicy ones. Um, so he is going to enjoy his pom bears. I've got my biscuits, and let's try and find a film to watch. What do you want to watch? We're on Disney Plus, obviously. What shall we watch, George? Finding Dory up. I think you'll like up. Up it is. Another fact, I actually cried up. Although I've heard quite a few people do actually cry at the scene where he's at the church alone with the balloon. Anyway, we're going to sit and eat our snacks and enjoy this film and we'll speak to you a little bit later. So bath time is over and George is just playing with some of his toys. So I thought I would just chat to you guys before I end today's vlog. Um, so obviously he's had his dinner, we're just waiting for ours. We like to have it a little bit later on a Friday. Um, but normally we do have dinner all together. Oh. Yes, I feel like it's just been a really relaxing and productive day, but um, yeah, it feels good to get some bits done. So the only thing I was going to say is my delivery didn't arrive. It was supposed to arrive on Tuesday, the foam tiles for the conservatory floor. It was supposed to arrive on Tuesday, then it got delayed again until today, and it still hasn't turned up. Um, and obviously I understand with everything that's going on at the moment, it's the least of my worries was about my tile flooring. Um, so I'm hoping it's going to be here by next Wednesday because that is George's birthday and some of his gifts are going to go out in the conservatory and um, so I just wanted something to cover the floor so it just wasn't so cold on his feet um, so if it doesn't arrive by then I'm going to have to try and come up with a plan B um, so yeah we'll just see what happens we'll just take each day as it comes and if it arrives it arrives if it doesn't it doesn't there are more worrying things going on in the world right now what colour have you got there monkey yellow and orange 
They're not symbols. Does anyone else's babies hate having their hair brushed when they get out of the bath? It's a bit of a battle. Um, but the brush is downstairs. So as soon as we get down, I'm going to tackle that hair and try and brush it. But yes, I think this is where I'm going to end today's vlog. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know, like I always say, it's probably a little bit boring. But thank you so much for watching and sticking around to the end if you did. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in my next vlog, which hopefully is going to be a much more exciting vlog because it will be George's birthday vlog. Um, and that's going to go up next Sunday. Yeah, it's going to be your birthday. You're going to be two. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and also check out my channel on Tuesday because I'm uploading a very special vlog, um, not vlog, video. Um, I think it's going to go up at 10.30am um, and it's just really sentimental to me, a little bit emotional. Um, so yeah, if you want to see that, subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you. Please give this video, video, a video, a big thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you, bye. Then my heart just can't ignore that I've never felt before And if you go, I wanna go there with you